The flower show at Hampton Court Palace gets a festival vibe this year. The flora and fauna just as impressive as ever. We'll take a walk around some of the show gardens. Now, weather in just a moment, but first, it was perhaps the perfect day for garden lovers at the Hampton Court Flower Show, which is on this week. And there's quite a mix this year. Everything from young green fingers, well-being, and even a design made from rubble. Wendy Hurrell takes us through some of what's on offer. Well, you're greeted by the pink pom-poms of thousands of dahlias, a bit of bunting and some music, because there's been a rebrand this year. It's the Hampton Court Palace Garden Festival. Hey. It's just a small sample of music this year, along with workshops and talks amongst the annual display of plants enjoyed by 130,000 garden lovers until Sunday. The Duchess of Cambridge was here earlier in the week, strolling around her back to nature garden, a bigger version of the one at Chelsea this year. Welcome to Believe in Tomorrow. Believe in Tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. And this Brixton-based designer has had some help from local school children. They've all grown plants, so they've grown lots of the edibles in the edible beds here and lots of the calendula and the nicotiana in the beds there. Um, and then they're all coming to the show so that they can see their famous plants. And then after the show, then the garden's being relocated back into all of those five schools. She crowdfunded to build this, her first RHS show garden, a design that began at playtime. So I started playing with my daughter and she was playing Play-Doh, so I started just drawing out a, a shape. We had um, very funny um, what, pipe cleaner trees and it was done on an upturned um, polystyrene takeaway thing. <laughs> I cut a hole in for the pond and I moulded up this hill. I thought, well, it's like quite like, I quite like that. Across the site, something else quite unexpected. There's an important message represented in this apparent fly-tipping incident. On the outside, these mounds of rubbish are sort of post-apocalyptic, but on the inside is a little sanctuary, because this is a garden called calm amidst chaos and it's to raise awareness about suicide and mental health in support of a North London charity called Maytree. There are 34 acres of the finest foliage with plenty of room for more visitors and what better weather to soak up the festival vibe. And that continues this evening. I'm at the moment in the drought resistant garden. There's a little bit of music playing behind me. Uh, I don't know if you can see the tent over there, but that's full of roses and it smells really, really good. Beautiful warm sunshine and still plenty of people in enjoying it. Here's a lady with a busy job. Gemma Lake is the show manager. What are the themes this year? Yeah, we've focused on wildlife, health and well-being, and community gardening. We feel they're really relevant and important topics, but also great for encouraging gardening as well. And why the festival feel to things this year? I think it, Hampton's always been a celebration of summer. We have an amazing location. We're usually lucky with the weather. Today's glorious and the rest of the week's looking like it too, but we've got, we're trying to make it really interactive for visitors so they can come here, they can create memories and take things away, be inspired. We've got workshops, we've got music, loads of music, loads of food, loads of plants, loads of things to buy. <laughs> And it's a, it's a tricky job what you have to do year after year after year. What are the sort of difficulties with putting on a show this size? Yeah, absolutely. We want to keep it fresh, so we try and change things up every few years. New content, new categories of gardens. So we've got Global Impacts this year, um, which is focusing on the environment. We've changed the layout a bit. We've changed up structures, so we've got nice new festival structures. And still there are tickets to be had? Yeah, absolutely. You can come any day on the door. Tickets are available. Please come. It's going to be a great day out. Thank you very much for joining us, Gemma. Uh, and it is absolutely glorious here at Hampton Court Palace at the moment. Uh, as Gemma says, it's open until Sunday and there is plenty to see and do here. Um, and, well, I'm, I think I might just go shopping, actually, now. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, thank you. You're outside in the sunshine. We're inside. I wonder who's got the better deal there. Um, thank you so much.